Out of all the what ifs I've been giving, huh? I can I am not surprised I've been given this idea. Sorry about that. Uh, so, out of all the what if ideas I was given in the game, I kid you not, uh, I am given what if Deku was the re was the reincarnation of. Give me a minute. Um, G Sans, mostly G Sans, fell version anyway. Hey. Who is G Sans, you might be asking? Well, think Gaster and Sans Ford fused into one. That's what G San is. Is that's the best way I'm gonna explain it. And due to me doing a fell version and not the classic, because well the classics I can never do. Ooh. Ooh. And it's, you can see why I never did the classic version of some, what I deck was the reincarnation of Sans. I just can't do that type of stuff. Or at least I attempt to. Don't get me wrong, I like the classic science as much as the next guy. I just not in... I look at the cringy ships that everyone does that type of way. Classic science with me and saying, good. So, uh, finally doing a science character, huh? Yeah, I know, it's been quite some time. Well, actually, it wasn't that long. Long? Weren't you thinking of doing this as well? Yeah, in the, um... One of the what it... Yes, but I could not find a good picture, so everyone thought it was at Underfell Sands. Oh yeah, in the community. Right, right, right. I forgot about that. Yeah. I gotta start posting wisdom for them, otherwise... Otherwise, well, they're just gonna be thinking I'm just gone to madness. Aren't you already mad? Oh yeah. But I'll start... As for people who wondered why I keep doing happy endings, well, I'm trying to save up my cart harness for more important things. Like smoking. Hey, but smoking. Okay, that was a douche move if I ever heard one. Okay, one, two. Oh. Ooh, three. That's a fucking it. Gotta pull a sneaky, huh? Jackass. But anyway, sorry about that. Pretty much, where were we? You were about to explain to Izuku about. You were about to ah, tell Izuku about something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So here's the best way to explain. In well, this is the best way of saying it, I get. S because this is just gonna be one of those episodes. So pretty much, Izuku is the reincarnation of G Gaster. In fact, how does he is like this? Well, he was born like it. Like he just born and he was up in the world and he was like, what the fuck? And he's seen the new world. Mind you, this world all has nothing. It's just like the classic Izuku Midoriya AU in My Academia. Yeah. So, pretty much, we, we go through this. I swear, I should might as well just introduce myself by tell, asking, by going to the creators of, creators of the YouTubers I was going to do anyway. Yeah, that you should start doing that, bro. <sighs> the thing is to be a chaos god. And the reason, and also here's the second reason. It's because of all the p things that have been going on on Earth, your Earth. It's literally flowing me up to the point where I have to continue more books. So meaning my schedule of what ifing, and that has bad endings, and me and him conquering the world, enslaving humanity, raping children, etc., etc., is a little bit down in the luck because of all the humanity that's been doing it. Oh, and all the stupid crap. And before you ask, no, I am not the one that's causing humanity to be dumb. That's your fault. Oh, don't start blaming gods because you're because you think the world is dying. Okay. So don't start blaming me. Shoot, that was close. But yeah, don't start pointing fingers at us just because your world sucks. You should be blaming yourselves, not I. Okay. Agreed. So, pretty much, uh, GT Sans, uh, how should we start this off? Actually, do I have the script? Yeah, you do, it's right there. Oh, there we go. Uh, do you actually have to write this down? Well, you got a better idea to keep track of the what-ifs. By the way, how come the pyro what-if is on hold? Hold. Oh, yeah, well, most it's because, as uh, well, I need more information about it, because pyro, well, I look at pyro, who is pretty much helped with the create, with the people who is choosing his outfit, and all of them are, rec are either recommending the clown one or the blue one, but a lot of people like the others. 
numbers. <sighs> well, let's just say it's a little bit on hold on that one, too, because of, well, a certain person who writes fashion. And one of you guys literally... They being, well, you guys. You guys are just worshipping by sacrificing children to me. I hope you clean that up. You think cleaning up, you think keeping this floor clean is literally that easy? But Dylan, aren't you the god of chaos? You literally have a throne made of skulls. Yes, but I keep it clean. Alright, back to the video. Yo, know, because let's admit, this is gonna be annoying. Now, what was I? Oh, yeah. So, pretty much, here's the best part you can say about Deku. Now, now Izuku, pretty much... Uh, what do you expect from him? He's GT Sans. Now, his history with his mom, not that great. Like, they get along, but they're both a lot of things in common. They're both heavy smokers, and they both, uh... Actually, they don't both... They don't, they don't both drink, but still... It's something to be concerned about. Enough. Uh, but due to Suzuku being a skeleton and literally having no lungs, Inko didn't really see the bad side of this. I mean, let's be honest, if my son had no lungs and he couldn't get lung cancer, I let him smoke cigars like crazy. Hey, you literally let me- this one I hear my son say- you literally let me- me go on raids at the age of five! I- and you forced me to kill my own mom, you sick bastard! Then why the fuck are you still living- living here? Here. Because as the gods think that you can change, because the gods think that you can be a nice man. And who fed them? Who fed them that mumbo jumbo? Oh, Buddha did. Ugh, that slut. The guy who can't even get a good girlfriend if it bit him in the ass. Yes. But yeah, I could give two shits about that bastard anyway. Wait. Bro? Huh? Huh? Sorry, I was reading. Oh, right. So pretty much he's Zuku. Oh, pretty much. Like I said, he smokes. Now, who's his lover? Obviously Mineta, because let's admit it, a lot of people for some reason are into short people, well, dating tall people, which I don't fucking get one fucking bit. Hey, what's wrong with fucking the, same, the person the same height? Now, mind you, this they're not dating. This is like those teen relationships. It's all about sex when it comes to the teens. And don't you all start saying, oh, but you... Oh, but I bet that's easy for you, considering you're a god. No. Oh, I'm in one of those romantic things, because I'm an adult. Oh, and I'm superior to you in every way. Yeah, I said it. And it, fuck you. Ew. But there's also other reasons why. Right. It's mostly because, well, like I said, it's teenagers. Because back then, let's be honest, when we were kids, we cared about how big, like, how big like, people's penises were, or how big people's boobs were, which I don't fucking get why. Like, to me, you are just a person with tits. I don't see the downside out of this. Like, seriously, it's beyond a joke. Like, some of the shit you guys do are just plain ass awful. And let's not get the fact started on the fact that you all literally have disturbing interests, even for me. E. Like, even I wouldn't go as far as this, me pointing at the Rule 34. Yes, I know what that is, and no, I don't look it up. Oh, but unlike you guys, I like to keep my sanity. Besides, I got a porn up for that shit. And I don't need to look it up when I can just hear the freaking outros. Don't judge me. But don't judge me. E, you bastards. Right, we all have to have our wanks. Even Zans has to. Bruh, I'm a skeleton. I don't have a dick. Wait, I just realized something. What? How is Mineta and him screwing? I mean, Mineta is... Actually, here's the best part. Mineta has an otter quirk. Literally, he's literally just a human. Well, not a human, but... Hey, you get what I'm going. He's an otter. Pretty much like a monster. Sir, monsters and humans have been living, living with each other for about centuries. Like, it's not even a fucking joke. They've been living with each other for quite some time to the point where or you can easily mistake a humans with monsters or it's because of the fusion of human souls. That's where quirks come in. Due to human, humans could no longer use magic. Monsters can still use magic and due to Izuku being, well, 
a skeleton. By the way, Izuku's adopted. I forgot to mention that. His mother abandoned him because he knew he, she couldn't feed him. Mostly because, well, she was homeless. So, Inko took care of her. Un took care of both Inko and the woman. Until the woman passed away, so there's no point in mentoring her ever again. Okay. But luckily, Izuku also had... As one thing that you humans would never have. Patience. Patience for their loved ones, which you all obviously don't have. Because if you did, well, you guys wouldn't be in this dimension now, would ya? I don't act all innocent. I know what you humans do, you sick bastards. But I love it. It. So pretty much, where was I? Oh, yeah. So pretty much after that, Izuku... So pretty much, this is when we get to Izuku. Now, before you bastards decide to be filthy, eh? No, they're not screwing. At least not yet. Eh. But they're getting to the stage where they're making out and all that. Mostly to the point, point of, well, just kissing. That's about it. Like, they're at that stage. Age. When, they're, when you're all pretending that you're the perfect loving couple, all that shit. But in this one, it is not. Uh, they are just fuck buddies. Please. And we all had those when we were kids. I know. I had one. Well, more than one, actually. Like, like the time I slept I with my history. Did move it on. I'm, I'm, but pretty much, Izuku Ku moved on to this new life of pretty much having a little bit of no no always. So, pretty much, Izuku moved on. Onto his favorite things, and which is was screwing in Mineta. Uh, to the point where even he would have an orgasm. But you get where I'm going. Oh, yeah. But after that, Izuka just got uh, pretty much interested in more things. But uh, we now just start off with Izuka just kissing his boyfriend to the point where Eri should be against the law. Oh, but luckily it's not, because that would suck, let's be honest. Yes. Now, after this... Hmm. That, sorry about that. But anyway, after that incident, because, well, let's be honest, it was actually kind of funny. Dizuku is pretty much what you expect from a person. Said, a noble person. Because let's be honest, his Aunt G Sans was always respected toward the women. I don't know about Fel G Fel Sans, because well, sexuality and all that, but remember, always gay. Hey, don't worry, I'll do a straight what if once a month. Bitch, all you guys have keep constantly asking me to do a straight what if, even though I made it clear. I swear at this rate I'm just gonna force you guys to have to be fucking my horses at this rate if you keep this shit up. Oh, I can't believe I have to literally tell you guys. If I hear one more comment about, oh, you guys wanted me to do a straight what if, I will legit force you to have sex with my war horses. Got it? Good. Let's begin. And so pretty much, Machi Zuko Midoriya is making out with his boyfriend, Ost, with Mineta, because, well, otters. I mean, let's be honest, I've seen some of that otter shit. It, I mean, some of the shit that you people are into, like female goblins for some reason. And, and demon girlfriends? I don't fucking get it. Is this a human thing? Ink. Ink, because if it's a human thing, then keep it bit to your filthy selves. I don't need to have nightmare fuel. <laughs> Say that, that, although I have room to talk, I probably traumatized God knows how many children to this day. <laughs> but anyway, back to the video, because as I'm a bad person. So pretty much, Izuk Midoriya is making out until he hears, Son, get your ass down here. Dinner's ready. Yeah, Mineta, yeah, Inko's not really the nicest person when it comes to parenting. But Izuku gets a little bit annoyed because he was about to, out to let, uh, let Mineta have the crack it. And this one he's, and this one Inko says, And you can tone down too, Mineta. I know you're in there. Er, <laughs> looks like she caught us red-handed. <laughs> Appears so. 
Oh. I made steak and eggs. Thanks. Thanks. And I have your favorite type of, uh, wait. Does he even drink ketchup? Actually, now that I think about it, does he even drink? Ink, uh, ketchup? I gotta look this up. Uh, because, uh, like I said, I'm not known on for things. But luckily for me, Izu, sorry about the pausing, but luckily for me, Izu Goo, Goo gets down there and he just sees steak and eggs. Huh. Steak and eggs? Eggs? What's the occasion? Sin. Let's just say, hey, I'm in a generous mood. For once, you, I don't have to, you don't have to cook. Oh, for your miserable life. Huh. <laughs> uh. Are you sure this is the right Inko, and it's just not a, a nice, kind priest? He's, this one, Inko, lights a cigarette. Never mind. Priests don't smoke. Don't be a smartass. How could I be a smartass if I'm ga if I'm Sans? Oh, brother. <laughs> so, pretty much after that vibe... This is when Izuku pretty much walks up to her. And the only thing you hear it this is when an os, os this is when pretty much Manetta just kisses him on the cheek and says, At least you tried to get in my pants. Eh, I'll try later. <laughs> Wait for me to digest my food, jackass. <laughs> this is when Inko says, Hmm, surprisingly I only had to call you two once. Did you two only just started? Are they making out or we were attending to, but I'm and the Kraken was gonna wake up, but uh, you kind of spoiled the moment. That's my mo that's my job. Ruin my son's mi ru make my son's life misery around his lovers. First. <laughs> yeah, that's every mom's job, really. Your parents still won't talk to you because you're dating a skeleton. No, they just don't like I Izuka's attitude. That's all. Huh. Huh. Are you two gonna go to any schools anytime soon? This is when he realized. You signed us up to UA, didn't you, you fat bitch? What the fuck did you just call me? You heard me. Like I said, their relationship as well as Mitsuki is at, and well, Bakugo. But luckily, it's not that bad. Mostly, it's just like how Irish people treat their families like shit. I'm not saying ain't that. I'm just saying that we have to have a whack at people as well. Not sexually, I mean, like, you get what I mean. Ain't you better. Or otherwise, I point at the horses. Good. So pretty much, that's Asta just laugh. I mean, Manetta just laughs. I can't believe I said Asta. Actually, now I think about it, I should probably do an Asta what if after this. Because it's been a while since I've done a Black Clover what if. Hmm. Something new, I guess. So pretty much after that, Asta pretty much. I'm like, yeah, Manetta. Manetta, Asta. How do I get those two confused? Ugh. Maybe because they almost sound the same? Yeah, that's what my brain knows they don't. Ugh. I guess that's what happens when you're awake, when it's literally like 6 o'clock in the morning. And you're not fully awake. Now, pretty much, uh, Izuku, who is pretty much now just talking shit and, as well as Inka, until oh, Manetta gets full when he gets done with his food. And he says, Babe, babe stop talking shit to your mother and eat before your food gets cold. Gets cold of what? Oh, right. And he starts eating his food. Thanks, babe. No problem. Well, wow, you actually did tame my son. Well, someone has to. We both know that he won't be able to live alone. Yeah. So, pretty much after that, this is when Bakugo said. Is? So... Well, I, this is when Minetta says, So, I got a question. You never really did mention your husband, Inko. Huh? Oh. Well, I'm a playboy. I fuck whoever I want to fuck. I'm no shame. So, you just go whoever the fuck you're into. Yeah. Say, if I'm in, a, to, I'm in the mood to fuck a black guy, I'll go to a black guy. Strip, I'll go to a black guy, I know. Well, I just have more fuck friends than romance friends. So, you're not hooked. Nope. I'm one of those fishes that can't be hooked. 
Hey, Zuko gets him. This one, Izuku says, You know, I said the same thing, and yet here I am with Mineta. Well, that's because you're a furry, son. That's a big difference. I'm not a... Ugh. <laughs> you know she's gonna continue making that joke until... Oh, you admit it. Not you too, Mineta. <laughs> I'm joking. After that, Mineta... Not pretty much... This one, Izuku got done eating. And this one, he just starts smoking the cigarette. So yeah. Huh. Anyway, Manetta pretty much has no shape. Hey, Now, we actually start off... We actually now pretty much smoke a cigarette and Inko tells them that, yes, she did attend the UA. Izuku says, oh, you bastard. Why do we have to attend UA? We literally don't need to. Well, because you need money. And one of these days, you're going to have to learn how to pay your taxes. <sighs> Look, one of these days, yes, we will pass away. But I mean, you will pass away. But I am waiting for that day to come, so don't I'm ruin it by letting us go to school again. Izuku, you've been expelled from you two have been expelled from school thirty from thirty different from almost every country. Literally? Yes, Japan, and was the only place. And plus that, and also, so everyone found out they just kept flirting with your boyfriend. They should know not to touch. I shall leave that's someone else's property. He, wait, Manetta's not your... Oh, wait. He sees the collar. You actually still wear that? Eh, it's the best way to show the relationship. Yep. Mm. Um, how many monsters thought you were a slave? None. Because they know... Oh, I was actually okay with it. And plus, I'm one of the... They think I'm gothic, which makes sense. And this one he says, Oh, yeah, you are gothic. <laughs> of course. I mean, why else? But now, well, this is when Izuku stands up. Up. Now, question. This is when pretty much Men Inko says, So, oh, you. Were you planning to go to UA anyway, Manetta? Yeah, but mostly because I knew, for some reason, my gut said, Inko is going to try to force Izuku to go to UA, so I might as well attend as well. It's not like I got anything better to do. So, yeah, I'll attend it. I mean, same side. Someone's got to keep this hot-tempered skeleton in control. Hey, I don't have a temper. Or, I meant your, your jealousy. You get easily jealous when people are flirting with me. It's a thing. Babe, there's no shame in getting jealous. People always get jealous. I mean, sometimes I get jealous when you're with women. Seriously, they know I'm gay. Seriously, almost everyone in Japan knows I'm gay. And they know not to flirt with me. And yet, they still have the nerve to. And when they see the pro when they, they see your property. And you're telling me not to get jealous? Me get- Oh, what the heck. Yes, I get jealous. Don't judge me. Anyway, so when are we attending UA? Tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. Oh, come on, Inko. Hey, 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 I don't choose the timing. I mean, they do. I can't control all it. But yet you could... And yet you're okay. Hey, with us sending there at 6 a.m., you know our, you know we're night owls. Well, actually, now I think about it, I'm not. I keep waking up at freaking 4 a.m. And for some fucking reason. No, I kid you not. I've been starting to go to bed... I'm starting to literally go to bed. I need to get my schedule back together. So pretty much, Izuku, who goes to his regular thing, mostly this uh, well person, which is actually the next morning because it's 6 a.m. 
down, Izuku just wakes up as if the dead has risen. And he wakes up from his sleep so heavy that he goes like, Ugh. the thing that everyone does is when they need to wake the fuck up. Oh, and they haven't had their morning coffee. So pretty much, Izuku, who being a nice and caring person, he pretty much wakes up a Mineta slightly. The Eminem wakes up. <sighs> Whoever decided it'd be a good idea to wake people up at six in the morning should be burning in hell. Oh, what? What's the saying? Early bird gets the worm? <laughs> early bird? Fuck, up being an early bird, I need my coffee in my system. Um, otherwise, I'm not going to be able to deal with people yet. And, which they don't, actually. They actually go nuts. So pretty much, after their well, what you expect from men, and they get their coffee and they drink it. Because, well, how else? How else? But in this one, I'm going to say that Bach, that Izuku just drinks coffee. Because, well, who isn't addicted to coffee? So after being after drinking the coffee, be and literally packing something for the road because, well, you know why. Me. Anyway, this is when they get to UA and they see it. So this is UA. Hey, looks like shit. Who put the dust in this crappy ass place? It's, this is when he points at the place. Ben has been built since 1942. It has been built during the revolution of heroes and monsters. Or is their first ever peace treaty create the first ever human self, the first ever monster human peace treaty academy. First ever for school to have monsters and humans. The first persons to attend are Gaster Bakugo. Oh, and he reads Class 1A and Class 1B's name and other others. I'm, and Izuku's thinking, oh, you bastard. This is when he says, this is when he's, Izuku says, oh, Inko, you fucking bastard. Bird. Oh, that cheeky little ogre. Er, no wonder. We're the first ever. Ugh, great. Hey, just fucking typical. Your mom really knows how to say fuck you, doesn't she? Yup. This is when pretty much they hear, Oh, hello there, students. Eh? And this is when he sees, Sans. Sans. Well, in case you're wondering what are you there in, um, take it away, Blueberry. <laughs> Ow. Izuku, doesn't he look a lot like you? Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Now that I think about it, he does look a lot like me. Hey, keep away from me, you creepy goblin! What's up, bro? Ow. Oh, where did you come from? Um, and where did he go? Oh, <laughs> I actually remember that hillbilly song. Where did you come from? Where did you go? <laughs> so pretty much after Izuku sitting down. So pretty much after getting the introductions, because that's obviously a swap cell and swap fell and papyrus. I mean, swap. Sands and Papyrus? I get the two mixed up for some fucking reason. Yeah, Swap, Sands, and Papyrus. I was about to say Swap Fell for some fucking reason. I might actually do a Swap Fell one day. Not the yellow one. I'm not going that... I'm not going to the depressing route again. And I remember my old what-ifs. So pretty much after that, Izuku Midoriya pretty much, much walks in because, well, he finds out that his teacher is... Toriel. Oh. Now, Toriel is the same as Aizawa. Uh, pretty much in a bag, sleeping here. Sleeping. Made me guess, well, it's 6 a.m. Come on, people. Where are your matters? Where is your honor? Where is your uh, love for sleep? If there is no such thing as an early bird gets the worm. Or that's just a saying for you all to really wake our asses up in 6 o'clock in the morning. I still want to kill you for this to this date. Hey, who created the frickin' the idea that wake us up at, at 6 in the morning? Because that's when my beauty sleep is. And we all admit, we all need our beauty sleep. I mean, 
And how do you else do you think we deal with people's humanity? Wait. Oh yeah, I forgot half of you guys are ugly as fuck anyway. Wait, because of all you guys getting fatter than fatter as a fucking elephant to the point where even a dinosaur, or to the point where even a brachiosaurus would say, dude, lose some weight. Hey, the pain, the truth of, the painful truth, huh? Ha <laughs> ha And people say romance is dead. Dead. <laughs> I think not. But, buddy, but, anywho, Baku, this is one pretty much he hears, Deku? Oh, great. Hey, uh, hey, Katsuki. The fuck are you doing here? I thought you didn't want to be a hero. I didn't. My bitch, I'm a mom. Um, put me here. Oh, hey, Mineta. Yo, what's up, Katsuki? Me? Bak Izuku, you know I'm straight. And yet you mistook him for a woman the one time. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> I'm still sorry about that. That bro. Bah! You be, you're not the first time person to actually mistake me for a girl. Seriously? Nope. Oh, Izuku thought of I was a girl, too, until, like, I pretty much heard, Hey, uh, lady, I'm not, I'm a dude. What? <sighs> and the time we actually got done with it. Anyway, pause break for a minute. I need to refill my coffee cup. Okay, I'm back. Now, nah, what was I? Oh, yeah. So, pretty much, Izuku, who sat down, and, and well... Well, he gets to class, and everyone else does. Now, pretty much, you expect from what you expect from students. They look fucking wrecked, except for a certain blue skeleton. And yep, Izuku, yep, Blueberry Sands, pretty much where I ever, for some reason, everyone calls him that. I, I'm just gonna call him a plague. Hey, I'm the god of chaos. Wait, you worship me? Why am I calling you a plague? Hey, actually, can I ask you something, Blueberry? Ask away! Why did you start worshipping me? I thought it was kind of fucked up that you started worshipping me. I got sick and fucking tired of acting all nice and chappy. I need to let my anger out other how. And killing children is fun. Ow. I guess that's a good excuse. Because I can't actually think of anything else. But, seriously, why is the real reason? Because I... Well, mostly because killing people is the best way I could do it, but I need more. That and also, I just need therapy. You do realize you get three therapy in my domain. Wait, really? Yes, my therapy is three. It's free. You don't think I don't give shit back, especially to the Greenhorns. They literally talk to the demons. Mince. Oh, <laughs> you silly goose. But I'm taking against it's because of the genocide route. It's because of the fucking genocide route. By the way, when are you gonna make another under swap AU? Um. Mm, um. I don't know. That's a good question, actually. One day, maybe, but not today, because, well, you know why? Well, yeah. Uh, you got done with the betrayed AU, which I see has not that many of you. Who's well? What'd you expect? Hey, I'm not really that good at what, what ifs. I'm still pretty much still ill practicing is the best way of saying it. I'm just still trying to get in my writing better. Yes, I am taking writing classes so I can get my writing better and I don't lack. Hey, and yet you're playing a video game. No, I'm not. You're not? No, I'm drawing. And why I'm talking? You're drawing. You got a better idea in the past of time? I, I didn't know you could draw. <laughs> It's mostly like that fucked up scribbly wibbly wibbly wobbly shit. Hey, I'm gonna make it one of those type of arts that you can easily mistake for a mess. So that is where this came in. Now with Bakugo, now with Bakugo, who's pretty much getting a kiss on the cheek. Hey, babe. Mm, he gets embarrassed. Wait, Bakugo, you're a bottom? Shut up, Deku. Ooh, there is no shame being a bottom, bro. Who he did? Me. Hey, Izuku's jaw dropped and so did. And fucking King Minas. I mean, yep, Katsuki is dating Blueberry Sands. Why? Well, mostly because his scary side might control him. And let's just say Blueberry is not that innocent. Whoever thinks that Blueberry is so innocent to the point where... 
Er, well, he's like Undertale, Saint Papyrus. This, then you are full of bullshit and lies. I've seen them, that skeleton. Even though he killed one of the haters for me, which I'm not mad at, but I wish he, fi I wish he, he didn't do it on my nice clean carpet. Damn it! Sorry. <sighs> Servants, am I right? I, although I can't really say shit because it probably owed it. And it does the same damn thing. But, anyway, hey, let's go through the original and all that shit. What do we do now? But, and now. Ah, now I remember. We pretty much start off with these zoop. We pretty much now uh, get to the rest of the class walking in. And like I said, they all look wrecked. Blueberry is now just as going into details on how they met, which was in an alleyway where he was just beating up some criminal. Oh, and Bakugo was just there smoking a cigarette. So, how did you have to quit? How much? So, what did you have to do the one thing to pretty much have but Blueberry? I had to quit smoking. <laughs> ah, the big guy managed to get it. So, anyway, with Katsuki, who's not, with Katsuki, who's now embarrassed, Mind you, I'm going to make a papyrus a little bit tall. I'm going to make Sans a wee bit taller. There we go. I'm not going to make some midget be... I'm not going to make make a tiny little... No. Well, him be around. Let's be honest. A small papyrus... A small Sans is not just... just It just looks wrong. Um, and you don't want to be the bastard who's ordering... Or they have steak for dinner now, do you? Ooh, you. Let's admit it. Having steak and eggs are a lot of things. But eating it 24 hours a day, well, you kind of get it's sick of the shit. And believe me, I know. So, pretty much, after literally... Late killing... After literally... The, well, sitting down and everyone gets comfy, this is when they hear, Okay, shut up. This is when I see Toriel. And he's looking bluntly thinking, Is that Toriel, the former queen of the monsters? I never knew she was this big of a cunt. And I, you know I can hear you, right? Uh. No. <laughs> Smart ass. Look, anyway. Um, my name is Toriel. I'll be your teacher for now on. On Shoto. This, but like I said, Toriel is Shoto Aizawa. What? So she gives two shits. Although I should make Azriel this, but I'm not a dick. Now, where was Rye? I forget. Now, Bakugo, this one pretty much she starts teaching them stuff. Of not useful stuff, I'm gonna say. Pretty much just the stuff. Well, mostly stuff that they don't need to know about. Because it turns out, out there learning as much as you expect from a school that literally has nothing. And, and just started, like, in the first day the humans and monsters actually stopped uh, killing each other over something stupid. It, like religion. And, and all that wanka shite. Right, so Katsuki, he being the loving dubby trooper that he is, Izuku, who, pretty much and all that, they decided to ditch class because it was fucking bullshit. Pap, what, well, Sa Pap Sans went after them because Toriel told him to. But pretty much it's because as they just needed some fucking fresh air and they needed a smoke. You two smoke as well? Oh, come on, bro. I think... Didn't Katsuki say we smoke? Hmm. He did, but I was hoping it was not true. You let your brother smoke? Okay. Ugh. I... Now I got him, too. Ooh. 
So, oh yeah. This is when Katsuki said, this is when pretty much Katsuki says, I wish I didn't smoke because I'm getting the itch. Yeah, this is when he, he's, Katsuki gives him, this is when, and, and but Blueberry pretty much kisses him and puts a lollipop in his mouth. Katsuki is now just shocked and blushing. Does that feel better? Ow. Oh, so smoking is not okay, but kissing your boyfriend right in front of random people is okay. Hey, it's a lollipop. Uh, I am not shame. I have no shame showing what I what am I in what am I into. Wait, who's top in the relationship? Uh, that would be me. Especially since it's our safe word is <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Uh, seriously, you have a safe word? Mm, dude, we don't even have a safe word. We just plow until we pass out. Oh. Well, unfortunately, Katsuki is a bottom. You know how bottoms are. I'm a bottom, too. Yeah, but he's not gifted. He's not, well... Oh, yeah. Uh, I keep forgetting. Hey. But he tries to last long for me. Hey. No, really, he does. Is. So pretty much after literally going through that Let's because well you know Oh me So pretty much Izuku and them pretty much got done on smoking and head back headed back to class because well their teacher was waiting for them. Oh, now I should mention one thing. Izuku never met All Might because, well, he didn't need to. He has pursuit. He has superpowers. There's no point for him to meet him. No, it's kind of stupid if you think about it. So pretty much they never met him. Uh, mostly it's also because Izuku was never a big fan of him anyway. But after that, Izuku pretty much much moved on and. But this one pretty much after caught after school because well it was a boring school day. Izuku decided to take his shortcut with Paps, and pretty much he went down, down there and saw what would you expect? Hey, okay, pretty much you know a slime villain attacking them. Now they attack they this slime villain did a stupid the most dumbest thing that anyone could do is attacking the boyfriends first before you attack the mate before you attack the the uppers. So pretty much, us Bak Izuku seeing in Bakugo and Blueberry Sand seeing their boyfriends in danger, they immediately went full on psych protective Megalovania psycho mode. Well, like freaking Undertale Sands from last, like a freaking horror tale version of Last Breath Sands. And and I fucking hate last, and I fucking guess and despise Ice Blueberry, and I'm saying something. Hey. Wait, I'm at this weak, pathetic you. Oh, it's just an act. I don't need to get all pushy. It's true, but still, it's a stupid act. Why do you have to act like you give a shit? Eh, humans. It's just part of the roleplay. Hey. Okay, but still. Anyway, with Katsuki, who got done with that bullshit. Izuku sat down and pretty much started burning in houses. This is when Izuku started pretty much, much went home, home after brutally killing the slime villain. Like I said, they did kill him because they tried to kill his boy, their boyfriends. So pretty much they went home, but they decided not to go to Pap's house because he would know. Oh, and criticize Blue because he's too innocent. Blech. So pretty much, uh, they decided to go to Izu Inko's home because she gives two fucks. I bet you. This is when Izuku says, "You think your mother would give a shit if they brought people?" Bah! Uh, I doubt it. She's probably fucking a man right now. When they walk in, they hear her moaning and pretty much begging for more fucking. Told you. Two. Wow. Oh, is your mom gonna be okay? Yeah, anyway, this is when he says, huh. This is 
is when Izuku sat down. And mind you, Izuku is pretty much with no shame whatsoever. We're pretty much... As well, he just sat down. And everyone else sat down as well because, well... well no one felt like doing anything. So after literally learning... After literally sitting down and pretty much just doing what any person would do. Be happy. He. So pretty much after literally doing all this and pretty much being happy and caring. And like most other people. Which is bullshit. We all know that. He's a good who sat down and pretty much just drank. He drank until oh, there's no more. Now, now, pretty much Blueberry never had booze, so this is a first. Are you sure this is okay for me to drink this? I mean, in, don't worry, I won't tell your brother. Mm, come on, dude, just have one sip is all we're asking. <sighs> Fine. And this is when he gets drunk. This is when he takes one sip, and next thing you know, there's a fucking party. I mean, they party until. Oh, nothing. Like, and they just drank and bought box. And they started making out. Now, right in the middle of a chair. Right in the middle. Well, they just box. They fuck until. Oh, there's no more fucking. And to the point where even. When he had to admit. It. It, it felt fantastic. When I mean it, I mean like seriously. Katsuki nearly. They passed out. And nearly passed out from exhaustion. And luckily, bought, and he lasted pretty well for someone who has, who's a human. And let's admit it, some of those people can't really last that long because, well, reasons. They're humans. They, humans can't really last that well. It's pretty much a human thing. But luckily, he managed to last a way, be, a way longer than the others. So pretty much after literally that, because he got done screwing, and Katsuki and Izu Izuku wakes up with Mineta right next to him and Kat along with Blueberry, and they look at each other. Did we? We never speak of this. Agreed. So they wake up and put their boyfriends somewhere else because they hoped they they hoped to God they didn't do it they, together because let's admit it that'd be a nightmare fuel. Like, seriously, that would actually suck, and we all know it. So pretty much, Izuku sat down, pretty much, it's got a, a, well, coffee, because it was early in the morning, and they got, and they woke up around 9 p.m. Izuku, and Izuku and San are thinking, oh, fuck. Okay, and they see multiple text messages from Pat saying, Where the fuck, where the heck are you, bro? Uh, 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 and it just reads, I'm fucking my boyfriend like an animal. What? And he just showed us a video of Manette, a blueberry fucking Bakugo. Oh, and literally, Pat gets the look, look like, Bro! Oh, I don't need to see that! Uh, uh, why do we stay here for a little bit? Yeah, um, um with Inga, who, who pretty much just sees smoking a cigarette and pretty much looking like she just, she just slept with the devil. Oh, abusive sex? Hmm, I enjoyed it. He didn't really last long, though. Hmm, well, I can see that because you're still walking. <laughs> Fair point. So, did you enjoy interrupting ours with the funding of fucking? I have, we have no idea what you're talking about. Because it looked like, really? Okay, we know what you're talking about. Uh, we just want to be douches. So, uh, I told them you were sick. Like, phew! Wait, what do you want us to do? How about clean the fucking house? What are you talking about? The house is... And they see a f absolute fucking mess. Uh, uh, 
Um, ma, sorry. It's fine. And I'm not mad. I'm just annoyed. Cause now I gotta clean this up. Because now you gotta clean this up. Wait, why do we have to clean it up? Because you made the bloody mess. Oh right. <sighs> this is when he's Zuku. Oh, just sits down because, well, you know why. So, pretty much after that, Katsuki literally, literally has absolutely no shame. Ew. So, yeah. So, after that, this is when Izuku who pretty much went to school after the next day because they've been too busy cleaning. They went to the next day and pretty much they saw a school bus. And this one Pat says, Woo, probably. This one San says, Well, at least San Papa here. Hey, bro. Shit. It fuck. Fuck. Uh, hey, brother. How you doing? Hey. Hmm. How's Katsuki doing? I'm doing fine. Can you walk? Well, he sees him wobbling. Not really. Can you? I got you, bro. He gives him some. This one packs just pretty much. That helps him out. Thanks. No problem, bro. And sounds keep your sex tapes to yourself. Oh, I was drunk. Nee? <sighs> you are drunk? Why were you drinking for? Eh, they persuaded me to do it. It's because of a one-time thing, so I get really get mad. Right. This one, he sounds was about to drink a bottle of who? A bottle of freaking hardcore whiskey until Paps takes it from him. Give me that! Hey, I was gonna drink that. Nope. Nope. No alcohol for you. Ooh. You drink honey, though. Yes, honey. Hey, something that doesn't get me drunk. Not honey, not honey whiskey. There's a honey whiskey? Hey, don't you dare! Adam, you already polluted my little bro. Your brother's been polluted ever since he started fucking... Okay. That is not true. Really? Okay, that's partially true. But it doesn't mean you get to corrupt that. You didn't get to corrupt my bro. Oh, dude, your bro has been corrupted. From day one. I mean, he deals with your bullshit every day. So, oh, I don't see what the problem is, Miss Bro. Be cat. As a bro. Oh, I don't want my brother to be drunk all the time. Don't get me wrong. One shot, I'm okay with. Yeah, but not a full fucking bottle. There's a bottle. Oh. Anyway, this is when you get to the U.S. J. Hey, and they just see the pure... This one they see, it's fucking lame. Hey, and Izuka just goes, Ugh, I should have stayed in bed. Hey, we all should have. Oh. Pretty much, this is when they hear, This is US, this is where we're going? Yes, now come on, you big fakers. Fakers? Really? Like, you know, you could actually try to act, actually look good yourself. I mean, you look like a freaking mistake was made... Hey, trying to make a good, I'm making a good ass dress. I'm not gonna wear a dress as long as I live. Can't say I blame your ass. But after that, Kat Izuku pretty much sat down and pretty much enjoyed his life. Life. And it, the field trip was fucking boring. It was more boring than seeing an erect, pretty much an anti, an anti horn. Or actually getting a boner from children. It was fucking pitiful. Well, no one could actually get entertained. It was fucking boring. You swear that the teacher set this up just to get revenge on us not getting in there. And dealing with their bullshit at the days. But after pretty much that, because... This is when he hears, hey, who's the fake villains? 
What? We don't have any fake villains. The fuck are you talking about, kid? This is when Katsuki literally says, "Damn." This is when pretty much Katsuki points and sees the fake villains. Uh, them. Them, kiddo. Those ain't fake villains. Villains. Oh, so they're real villains. Izuku was stuck. Bluntly said, "Finally, something to do." I swear. Air. No, you stand back. The hell I am. Them. I got this. This one, she pretty much lights up some fireballs. And pretty much this is when the villains attack. And this villain, let's say Shigaraki, because we all know who this is. It's, this is when they pretty much hear, Nomu! Ooh, attack them! Hey? Nomu? Ooh, like a notice, like a Nomu senpai? My bullshit that you Asian peoples are into? That's not. Ugh! Kill them! And this is what the Nomu attempts to do, but it fails horribly. But how does it fail horribly? Well, you're dealing with someone who literally fights for survival. Well, so the Nomu, who pretty much fights them, but Izuku just summon a couple of gaster blasters and just incinerate it. Let's just be honest. And he incinerates the villains, too. Oh, and Izuku just says, whoops. Ah, uh, I'll let this slide, considering they interrupted my nap. I will mention this to the teachers, if... You come to s if you don't attend the sports festival. Yeah, sounds fine to me. That goes for you too, Blueberry. Really? Why do I? Not? Why do I get to attend the sports festival? Oh, because you two are my favorite students now, and I'm letting you guys slide. Like, what's the real reason? You give me a bottle of hooch. Hooch. Don't think I don't notice that whiskey in your bottle. Oops, papyrus, my signs. Yeah. Uh, what bottle? Well, this is when pretty much Kotsky's boyfriend throws it. Hey, look. Some Scott, some vodka. Oh, what? Well, where did that come from? That must have been an accident. <laughs> Bro. Oh. Okay, okay. I stole it. one bottle of hooch. Hooch. It's not healthy. Neither is drinking honey. I mean, honey is at least something you can drink, not something thing else, bro. Ugh. Leave me alone. Let me drink. No. Oh, I'm not gonna let my little bro drink because he... He now became a man. And after that, at fight... Hey, and pretty much... I should, Well, the rest, because let's be on it. This... Pretty much, that is when things changed after that. So, pretty much, Izuku, who sat down, because let's be on it, this, it's kind of hard, hard to act like you give two shits when your boyfriend and it's always drunk. Anyway, after that, this is when the U.S., this is when the U.S., we get to a couple of months, because that was all it. But luckily, Izuku also so did not attend. So him and Mineta had a nice time alone because, well, well, Inka was with someone else. He, she was at someone else's home, so she he had a good time. I'm, they didn't even tr attend to watch the sports festival. Oh no, they didn't even try to because they never thought it was because they thought it was fucking bullshit. Anyway, pause break. All right, I'm back. So after making out. How pretty much is when he, he he's a good hears. Here's about a mysterious the mysterious disappearance of the League of Villains. Yes, he's a gaster blastered so badly. They it actually went through a portal that Kurtigary opened up and killed everyone in the League of Villains. So they're dead. Hey, pure fucking luck on that one. <sighs> so pretty much after literally doing that. And what you expect from us doing? My Isuku decided that it'd be a good idea to pretty much well get something new to. Okay. So after that, and he started thinking for himself. Oh well, that's a lie. He started pretty much doing whatever man and would do in their twenty. 
is when they're with their boyfriend. And pretty much fuck. But after that, Izuku who got done with the screwing thing. And pretty much, much well, Izuku went out to buy some cigarettes because his boyfriend needed some. Um, until some kid bumped into him and immediately sees the kiddo, covered in bruises, bandages, and all that. So immediately, the girl is crying, and the kiddo says, Whoa, 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 hey, what's wrong? Oh. He, she immediately is too scared to skate, but Izuku can tell. Oh, abused and experimented. He knows that too damn well, because he sees the needles. This is when he says, Ah, oh, there you are, daughter. Her? It doesn't take a fucking expert to know that's not his daughter. So Izuku said, Well, I would love to believe you, but uh, I know your overall. Shit. This one overall uses his powers on him, but Izuku dodges and blocks the, the attacks. This one he says, You're gonna have a bad time. I And pretty much starts incinerating Gaster. I mean, starting incinerating thing overall. All because, well, it's overall. I mean, it's fucking, fucking, well, you know who it is. It's the one person who's literally, literally well, the person. So there's freaking no point. So after that, Izuku took the kid in. And, and luckily, Mineta always wanted to be a dad. So pretty much, uh, she took the kid in. Not even hesitating to take him in, actually, mind you. He took him in like the end of the world was, like he was the last child on Earth. Eerie is pretty much happy with her new dad. And they did the one thing that Izuku never expected to do. Quit smoking for them. For the kid, because they wanted, really wanted to keep the kid. Pat became the god uncle, became the uncle, so did Bakugo. Well, luckily for them, they knew what, she knew what sex was, so pretty much that was a good thing. They promote, they pretty much became heroes. Rose Izuku decided to be called G Sans. Mineta decided to be called Old Otter Man because, well, he's an otter. Blueberry decided to be called the Magnificent. Pretty much the Magnificent Blueberry because, well, let's be honest, he still has to keep that pureness in this world. Ugh. And Katsuki, well, Katsuki just doped school because well, he didn't want to be a hero. He wanted to be a house husband. And someone had to babysit Eerie anyway. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. You know what to do. Oh, and, and pretty much make sure you subscribe or I'll torture your souls. I already, I don't have a soul. You still have a body. So, I'll see you in the next vid.